Algiers has seen many mammoth demonstrations in the past three weeks, but none to match the welcome with 300,000 cheering Algerians of both races give to their hero, General Charles de Gaulle, now Premier of France. Algiers believes it put him where he is, and now Algiers expects great things of him. De Gaulle lays a wreath in the shape of the Cross of Lorraine on the war memorial which has become the focal point of most of the city's demonstrations. Then it's on to Government House where he is to address the immense crowd. But in spite of the tremendous welcome, there's an undercurrent of apprehension. Our generals Salon and Massou, whose army was the backbone of the revolt against Paris, convinced that their ideas of Algerian policy coincide with de Gaulle's. And what of Jacques Soustel, who perhaps hoped for cabinet rank? But it's de Gaulle the crowd acclaimed. La France considère que dans toute l'Algérie, il n'y a qu'une seule catégorie d'habitants. 